Miss Geekly, it's me, Augustella Lana, and I have the cards again, the 1,000 cards, because today it's another vocab day, it's our third vocab day, and like we always do, I pick 36 of these cards, maybe 35 in, in when we get closer to the end of the box, but 36 for now, and I will just pull them out randomly from the box. And we have Ego, 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 Ego. And this word means I, as in me or myself or something. Um, this is where we get the word ego from. <coughs> this is where we get the word ego from. And um, in, in Latin you won't really see it that often because the endings of verbs will tell you um, who is speaking. Liber, 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 liber. This word means book. This is where we get the word library from. Exilium, exilium. Word means exile, and this is obviously where we get the word for exile from. Sorry, my voice is being weird today. <coughs> Ego, oh, actually. Nuntiare. 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 And this word means to announce. This is where we get announce, pronounce, and enunciate from. Exponere. Exponere, 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 exponere. This word means to explain or expose, and this is where we get the word expose and also exponent from. Just move a little closer. Tectum. This word means roof, and don't I can't really think of any words that this word is, uh, is related to in English. Okay, so we have six words already. Festinare. 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 This word means to hurry. Um, you might have heard the phrase uh, festina lente, and that means um, make haste slowly. We go. This word means vigor and like energy. I like this word. 
calamitas, 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 calamitas. This word means misfortune and calamity. That's actually where we get the word calamity from. I just like how it looks. This word means uh, darkness and shadows. The long mark is here, or something like that. I'm not sure how those work at the beginning of a word. I'm just not used to that. Anyway, it means to turn away, and this is where you get the word avert from. Yeah. Turn away. A means from, and vertere means to turn. So, to turn from, turn away. This word means eight, and this is where we get like octopus and October from. It's just the number. This word means hatred. It's not a nice word. But it's there. And just move everything. Mori, 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 Mori. Oh, this is so weird. Because this word means to die. <laughs> of course. You can't have learning Latin without learning how to say, you know, death and killing and stuff like that. So it's very common to see these kinds of words. So don't be alarmed. This, like if. Like, literally, if you just... I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about this one anymore. Anyway. Oh. Wita. 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 This word means life. It's where we get vital and vitality. Vitamin? Yes. Bumpa. 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 This word means parade, and this is where we get pomp and pompous from. Not sure if this is the same word we get pompadour from. <laughs>
Carrera, Carrera, Carrera. I can't pronounce the letter R. Carrera, Carrera. And this word means to lack, to want, and to be without. You better, you better, you better, you better, you better. This word means to order or command, and this is where we get um, Joseph from, which I may teach. It's something with the subjunctive, which is a grammar topic. I might, I might teach that a long while in the future. That's basically like um, it's like when someone says like may he or may she or may it do something, but you don't have to worry about that. Ceros, 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 ceros. This word means late. Can't really think of a word that has to do with that. Geminus. 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 This is where. This is the word for twin. And this is where we get um, the zodiac sign at Gemini from. It literally means like two twins. Canis. Word means dog, and this is where we get like canine from. You know, just add an E there instead of that S. Canine. Sol. 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 This word means sun. That's where we get solar and solstice. Uh, can't think of any other examples. Dulkis. 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 This word means sweet. Uh, this could apply to people. You know, food can apply to anything. Flowers, even. Senectus. 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 This word means old age, and I may or may not have shown you this, I don't remember, but um, the word for old man is senex, and that's where we get that word from. And this word might have something to do with the word senator, because apparently back then in Roman times, and maybe even today, they're old. <laughs> Just random old people.
Wikinos? 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 This word means neighbor. And this is where we get the word vicinity from. Because someone who is your neighbor would be in your vicinity. Wallo Chris, Wallo Chris, Wallo Chris, Wallo Chris, Wallo Chris. This is a word for bird, although you may not see this one as often as you would see the word uh, awis, which also means bird. But it might, they might mean something about the size of the bird. One could be a small bird and the other could be larger eagle-like birds, but you're more likely to hear the word always instead. Ninum, 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 Ninum. This word means a string, and this is where we get the word line from. Um, it may or may not have something to do with linoleum. Just dropping things now. Hold on, let me get that. Oh, this is useful. So, do you remember last week where I taught you how to say uh, certain phrases in Latin, and I think I taught you how to say goodbye, and this here. Um, remember it was wale, so this is where the word actually comes from. Walera. 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 And that means to be strong or be well. And this is where we get the word validate and prevalent from. Yeah, it could also be where we get the word valor from. I'm not sure about that one. Aditus. 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 This word means entrance. Although, you probably wouldn't hear this word very often either. Maybe, um, you know, there's a, you might even just hear the word for door. Domicilium. 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 This word means home, as opposed to uh, Wina, which means house. This refers to any sort of house, just the home, household. Then we need six more words to go. Somnium, 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 somnium. This word means dream. I think it could also mean sleep. And this is where we get insomnia from. Insomnia literally means like in is like without. And somnia comes from somnium, which means sleep or dreams. So that's why when someone says that they have insomnia, it means that they can't sleep. I hope this doesn't fall. Okay, I'm just gonna put these into one pile now. Because I know I only have five more left to go.
Schutz. Sorrow. 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 This word means sister. And this is where we get the word sorority from. We're like, it's like the girl version of a fraternity. But that literally means like a sisterhood. So I think that comes from the Latin word sororitas. If that's even a word. I'm just making stuff up now. Medius, 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 Medius. This is where, this is a word for middle or medium, and that's where we get the word medium from. And, um, mediate, also. I like this word, this is a funny word. Rex. Prex, 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 prex. This word means prayer. Kind of looks like the word a little bit. It's a weird, weird looking word. Prex. They're stuck together. Okay. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? This word means for a long time or a long time ago. It's a lot of words for one little three three letter word. And our final word for today. Let's see. We woulda, we woulda, we woulda, we woulda, we woulda, we woulda. This word means to live, and this is where we get survive, and vivid, and what else we got? Yeah, I think that might be it for, for all my examples. Um, yeah? We got a weird mix of words today. Look at how much we got through. Okay, let's just put this in the rest of the pile. So there, the collection of words we know is already starting to, it's already starting to form. Now, uh, next class, I will be doing another uh, vocab class, and the class after that. So, yeah, next two classes will be vocab classes, but as I promised a couple weeks ago, um, I will be reading more Catullus poems on maybe three classes from now, so there's that to look forward to, so that way you can just sit back and relax.